With the rapid advancement of incredible innovation resulting in amazing inventions, in this video we gawk at the insane tech coming out that most have never seen before. So let's get right into it with some amazing technology. As usual, we save the craziest for last. It's always good to see future technology helping humanity. See how the future is literally at our fingertips with these cyborg-like prosthetics? The creator birthed this idea while still in school, but now offers a finished product that's amazing even beyond helping others. Starting with an incredible amount of customization in size, color, and other details, chosen from home with the company willing to send the proper equipment. Next, an array of 36 extremely precise sensors gives 360 degree coverage utilizing TrueSense technology. So, wearing it is as comfortable as possible. Thirdly, the company works directly and offers a 30-day trial, clinical support, and individualized pricing. According to some publications, the cost is about $8,000. I always wondered why they didn't just use a modified Land Cruiser on the moon. Enter the Toyota Lunar Cruiser. The Japanese aerospace agency JAXA and Toyota Motor Company have named their manned pressure vehicle the Lunar Cruiser. The collaboration is working towards a planned launch sometime in the late 2020s. The agreement between JAXA and Toyota involves the continuing development of a manned pressurized vehicle that utilizes fuel cell electric technology. This type of powered vehicle is considered necessary for human exploration activities on the moon. Dubbed the Lunar Cruiser, it's obviously a tribute to the Land Cruiser, Toyota's iconic SUV which celebrated its 70th anniversary in 2021. The choice was predicated on the quality, durability, and reliability needed for the pressurized Lunar Cruiser. Reflecting the well-established qualities of the Toyota Land Cruiser as an unrivaled all-wheel drive utility vehicle. What else can you do to a drone? Well, watch and see. The DJI Mavic 3 Pro Triumph is DJI's top-of-the-line drone, equipped with a triple camera array to provide some unique angles. Being put to the test, the DJI Mavic 3 is one of the most impressive drones. So when word got out of the Pro variant, there was plenty of excitement. Let's take a look. The biggest change is plain to see. The camera module has expanded in size and now features three sizable lenses offering an array of lens depths in order to provide unique shots that are viable for a variety of settings. DJI has adopted the smartphone technique, tripling the cameras. This and much more was discovered after over a week of testing. You can check out the DJI.com website for more details if you're interested. What would the future be without futuristic buildings and architecture? The Hongxing culture and art complex's sweeping archways unfold along Atelier Pyron's culture and art complex in China. Designed by Yun Keasu, it's a work in progress. It's a 14,000 plus square meter project. The Hongxin Art Complex is to be a future community focal point in one of China's fastest growing cities. Intended to serve the larger Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area, the studio's work on the new complex has been in the planning, design, and construction stages for six years and is nearing its completion. In over 10 years since the Chinese government approved the massive and ambitious urban development, billions of dollars in investments have flowed into the project. It is known as the Hongxin New Area, located at the confluence of the Pearl River in South China. And what would the future be without robotics? Boring, perhaps? Check these out. Wearable robot arms that move like spider legs in preparation for human interaction with cyborgs. Jaize arms mimic the arm and hand movement. Welcome to the world of cyborgs with Jaize arms, produced by the University of Tokyo's research team. A set of four robotic limbs incorporated in a wearable backpack, casting humans into the Terminator sci-fi realm to interact with humanoid robots. The Jaize arms move with grace, and stretch their limbs like spider legs as body movement triggers their motions. Here's where it gets a little creepy. In a video that the study team made public, two dancers expertly execute a series of movements that the robot arms try to replicate from behind. The robotic limbs are powered by a backpack via a wall plug. A wearable base unit with up to six terminals and detachable robot arms make up the team's robotic limb system. 
Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe or you'll wake up in the middle of the night with creepy robot arms all over you. Whew. Here's a new angle on a hovercraft drone hybrid. This single-seater hovercraft drone is an interesting invention. Hailing from the land of the rising sun, that's Japan for those who may not know, it's a cross between a drone and a hovercraft. The prototype has already been to the Maker Faire Tokyo 2022 convention, and photos and videos of the vehicle floating through the air have generated buzz on Twitter. The creator said, I never even imagined such a response. The vehicle is 8.5 feet long and weighs about 68 pounds. Battery life is modest, a full charge lasts from 5 to 10 minutes, and so far the craft is pretty loud. No wonder the operator is wearing hearing protection. A patent has already been filed, and there are already several versions. This one is called Unit 8, an obvious reference to the anime Neon Genesis Evangelion. Well, this one seems quite incredible, if not impossible. Reviving Michelangelo and Rodan's signature style with the use of AI? Dubbed the Impossible Statue, aptly named. How about five iconic sculptors synthesized through AI? What if the artistic legacy of five renowned sculptors could be revived, who lived hundreds of years apart, using AI? Is that crazy or what? A Swedish engineering team recently unveiled it at Sandvik, the Impossible statue represents a remarkable synthesis of art and technology, showcased at Tekniska Musik, Sweden's National Museum of Science and Technology. This modern engineering masterpiece utilizes the collective styles of five legendary sculptors, Michelangelo, Rodin, Kalvitz, Kotoro, and Savage, spanning continents and centuries. These visionary masters blend in a captivating stainless steel sculpture, synthesizing 500 years of sculpting into one modern sculpture. At first glance, this one seems a little weird, but after watching you can see how this might someday help folks with partially disabled hands or fingers. The Tokyo Evolving Sixth Finger Project asked, could an independently controlled sixth finger change one's sense of self? What if you could control a sixth finger like a part of your own body that can be moved on its own? Professor Miyawaki Yoichi of the University of Electrocommunications succeeded in doing just that, wearing an artificial finger and changing one's perception of the body. It was the summer of 2022 at the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation in Tokyo at the Parent-Child Workshop for the Imagination and Implementation of Creating Your Future with Robots exhibition which turned out to be the most popular event the museum had ever hosted. Participants in the workshop created Lego registered fingers that would attach to their hands alongside researchers who developed the controllable sixth finger that could be attached to the hand on the outer side of the pinky. The workshop's objective was to enable participants to envision the full potential of the human body as well as society's potential. Is this really a car? Lencia's new concept car. You could call it a sculpture, a cool one at that. Lencia has a long history of wild concept cars, though this may be its most extreme yet. The Boo Plus RA0 shows the Italian brand's direction in this concept. Although lacking important car features, such as, well, wheels, among other things, with the Poo Plus RA, Lancia is attempting to make over as an EV brand after years of stagnation. Currently, Lancia sells only the Epsilon Compact, a remake of the previous generation Fiat 500 and only available in Italy. Between 2024 and 2028, the brand plans to launch three new models starting with a new saloon style. Lancia hopes to be a respected and reliable brand in the European premium market, according to CEO Luca Napolitano, in a statement. Today marks the beginning of the new Lancia, he said, while we still wonder, where are the wheels? Speaking of no wheels, the only way to keep the wheels on your car is to watch another one of our videos.